We will turn again to the book of Isaiah chapter 52. The Lord has been merciful towards God's people. And he is yet speaking. And we thank God that God is also helping us to hear his voice. And one thing I would like to say right at the beginning is let's not miss God's workings in our lives. There is no work that can be done overnight in anyone's life. But definitely God wants to do a progressive work in all of us in these present times. And therefore, let's be available to the Holy Spirit and to His His Word even this morning. We heard many precious counsels of God from these verses. I would like to read these verses once again. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come unto, into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Hauro, hauro. Nahaki Pangal Hapu He Sion Naki Fajarva Pirol Sing Setlu He Jerusalem Asang Bisahar Maram the Unkaktava Sing Amuk Amang Basing Shake thyself from the dust arise and sit down O Jerusalem Lose thyself from the bands of thy neck O captive daughter of Zion Nasadagi Upul Kanto O Hogotuna Pamu He Jerusalem Naha King Aki Apa Pundagi Nasabulato O He Lad Power Ribis. You know, we thank God for everything that God has conveyed to us through these verses. Hari Bapa the Singasidagi is on I Koda Nang Birali, but Kuding Mosingasi the Mysor Butagali. I somehow sense a real burden and a travail of the Spirit over God's people. You know, he is turning to Zion with great mercies. He loves her, you know, you know, and he wants to restore her back again and into her greater glory that he had uh, purposed. You know, he has purpose, he has desired, you know, concerning, you know, Zion in eternity and he wants to bring it into fulfillment. We also heard in our previous meditations that Zion is heavenly. But as we have seen here in Isaiah 52, she is now found in dust. She has become earthly. She has given herself to carnality. You know, and uh, we, we saw even last week that she is now bound in chains. You know, and God in His mercy has spoken many things to us about Church, God's people in these present times. You know, we heard many precious counsels from the letter of Paul to Corinthians, Galatians, and also from the book of uh, Revelation. We saw from Ephesians also and also from the book of Revelation. 
You know, the apostle made very clear to the believers in Corinth that they cannot be walking like mere men. You know, that earthly man, that man of dust is not, is forbidden now in your life. You know, and so we, we saw some things which are, you know, very high and deep. You know, and sometimes one wonders, we saw from John chapter 17. You know, in the heavenly man, there are no divisions. You know, and we, we thank God for all that God ministered to us in His mercy. We also heard that a vast majority of Christianity today is according to the standards of men. You know, yes. The Lord Jesus prayed that they are not of the world. It doesn't mean we literally leave this present world. But it speaks about a spiritual and inward detachment. It speaks of a separation from the standards, the wisdom, the lifestyle, you know, and so many things that we see in the world today. You know, and actuating the heavenly principles in the life, in our lives. You know, actuating our minds with the heavenly man. You know, so there are many precious things God spoke to us. And how important it is for the church of Jesus Christ to shake off everything that is of man and carnality and that which is of the self and the natural man. Now as we saw from the book of Corinthians where Paul said very clearly you are living like mere men and that man is forbidden in the church. Can you ever think of any church teaching this? Do you ever hear that? But the common feeling amongst the leaders and the saints is that after all, we are men. ไอ้ยามันน่ะพอดีไปสอกิมีสิงนะพอดีสิอัมมาบัวรัมมาบัวรอคุยจะมีนี่ดนะยัสอนอไม่ทางตาคุยจะมีนี่ดนะมีนี
We also heard very clearly. I'm just underlining these things to us. You know, it's, it's uh, very important. Spiritual enlargement and growth and maturity can only come when we set aside this carnal man, this old man, this natural man. And align ourselves with the heavenly man. Yes. We thank God for all that God spoke to us. You know, I am, I am of Paul, I am of Peter. You know, I'm of Wesley, I'm of uh, Luther. I'm of this man and I'm of that man. This is what we see all around us. You know, there are important questions that God placed before us. And I'm not getting into all those questions, but my one plea to all of us is that we need to spend more time with the word that we are hearing. I mentioned that also on Tuesday. You know, when, uh, when I interacted with some of the elders, in other places, one of the things that I heard is that at least two, three times, one of them, he was telling her, only third time when I went through, I was able to really understand by the Spirit. This is what he said. Yes, we can hear, we can understand a, a concept. You know, we can just accept it or we can write it down. But for us to get an understanding by the Spirit, we may have to spend more time prayerfully going through those things again. You know, and that's what I would like to share with us again. You know, we are not here to perpetuate or to continue and something keep going in a natural way upon this earth. No, but we are here to, to continue on to support something and to be part of something which is heavenly. Yes. And how can we know? What we are supporting, what we are giving ourselves in, what we are trying to, you know, um, you know, um, continue to work for, is this something heavenly or earthly? burden to underline that again. You know, how far is this answering to the Lord's fully revealed mind or will? Yes. 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 No, how much it's, it's answering. Yeah. What I am doing, what I am with, what I am supporting, what I am giving myself, what I am working for, I am living for, what I am living for, is that supporting? Is that something that is answering to God's fully revealed will? Yeah. Answering. Answering to God's burden. Is it fulfilling, is it fulfilling God's burden? 
would really reveal to us whether it is heavenly or it is something of the earth. You know, we can continue to give ourselves for many things which may be for God. Yes. Now, it's one thing to do things for God. But it's another thing to support, to live and perpetuate something that answers to God's fully revealed will. These are two different things. Amen. So it's easy to support something that is for God. In our understanding it's for God. You know, this is something for God. This is something for His glory. You know, and so many things are going on today in the name of the Lord and for God. So much of labor. So much of sacrifices. You know, so much of activities. For God and in the name of the Lord. They are supporting it in every way. But the question here is, what we are supporting, we are giving in, we are perpetuating, is that something that will answer God's fully revealed will or mind? Yes. Yes. Now, there's a scripture that has been lingering on in my mind for so many days. I would like to turn, as I shared this on Tuesday again, I think one Tuesday, you know, Exodus chapter 32. Yes, I would like to Exodus 32. You know, chapter 32. 32. And um, we know the background here. You know, uh, children of Israel, they made a golden calf and began to worship the idol. And the, and the Lord said to Moses, go and see what's happening there. And, and Moses said, who is on the Lord's side? You know, come unto me, he said. And we know what happened, just to save time, verse 29. For Moses had said, consecrate yourself today to the Lord. Consecrate yourselves today to the Lord. Our consecration is to the Lord. Our giving ourselves is to the Lord. See, many times we can consecrate many things. You know, we can consecrate many things. Consecrate means what? Samarpan. Either here it is more Samarpan. Yeah. Yeah, we can we can consecrate many things. I can, I can consecrate my job. I consecrated my secular job. That is what I did perhaps. But that is not what God is asking for. He says consecrate yourself. Amen. Consecrating yourself is different from consecrating your money. Consecrating yourself is different from consecrating your job. Amen. 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 And this is very important. Consecrate yourself, your self, your life. You know, there are so many today who have consecrated many things for God. But they fail to consecrate, consecrate themselves. Amen. Amen. When you consecrate yourself, 
It may involve many things. Na koi na saam akatho ko matam dadi masida karya marum yaorok pa yai. It may in it may involve your job. Na gi thabok se yaorok pa yai matam. It may involve your money. Na gi paisa yao pa yai matam. It may involve your time. Na gi matam zui yaorok pa yai. But just giving my time doesn't mean I have consecrated myself. प्रभु की मिंग I know you sorry that you don't pay taxes. I would have given some of my time for God's work, sacrificing. You sorry that you don't pay taxes. But that doesn't mean I have consecrated myself. Hari basing ato na ay sa makatok le have diya. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So there are many things that can go on in the name of the Lord. Prabhu ki mingda sa thabay tau bay abani. Many things can go on. May am sa thabay abani. But everything doesn't involve consecrating of our self life. मुस्लिम Will this answer to God's revealed will? I call it Isagi. I believe that now Isagi aning ba phongdo pirwaning ba do to kaya mo pao kumari ba. Fully revealed will of God. Ma pung pa na Isagi aning ba phongdo pirwa. Ma pung pa na phongdo pirwa Isagi aning. So we thank God for all that God has been speaking to us. Asum na Isagi na ko deng ang pirakra ba kuding masing asig dama Isagi ba thay. You know He is nothing lesser than God's. You know he is he doesn't want anything lesser than what he has purpose in eternity for his church and for his people. Ma ki singlo ki damak ta ma ki meo singi damak ta lomba na ida bara maan pandam tau duna tham krabo singa do adu daki kari shota da bhi ni maan. The realm of the throne. I bhi singa. The realm of the throne. Singa san ki hoy bato. To sit with him. Ma kalore na pami na ba. To to reign with him. To have dominion over all things. Kuding maki matakta panba. Let's just move on today. Ako nga si Satami nasi. You know, as we saw here in chapter fifty-two of Isaiah. The saya gi yang kay ni toy day ko ni yung matam. You know, the Lord wants her to be fully restored back. Jehovah na mahpuha nagi mat asan. You know, Zion. When you think about Zion. We have heard many things on Zion. Zion ki maram dai ko na kaya maram ta. Zion is the place of spiritual power. Zion hai bo siti thawai ki pangal ki mafam ni. Zion, Zion means the stronghold. Zion hai bo siti akan ba lan ban ni. Zion means the stronghold. Mahag di lan ban hai bani. Zion hai. It was the peak of conquest when you read the Old Testament. अरीब वाले अपने वैसे पाप में तम्बा मस्जिदे लानियम बामाई पाक पसिंगे हैप कम थे एक बार मतों ना दुनी और हाँ या पीक ऑफ कॉन्कस्ट कॉन्करी आई दी लानियम बगी ख्वाहिश ही वांग बा अधु बोशी वानी यू नो एंड ज़ोन इज़ अ प्लेस अ प्लेस व्हिच फॉर एवर स्टूड As a testimony to kingship. Si o na si de ning thau oi bagi sa ki ado matampum bagi pi na na bagi tamangle apni bato ni. Testimony stood as a testimony. Masi de sa ki o na le apni bato ni. It stood up as a testimony to kingship. Ning thau oi bagi sa ki da le apni bato ni le apni bato ni. Yes. When the kingship reached its highest point. In the in the days of David, I did David ki matam da so ning thau ki hoy bo si na kwaay da ki wangam matona da yopu matam da. You know, then Zion was called the city of David. Adu da ki di karam na thau ki apu si o na se. You know, so we see it speaks about a testimony of kingship in the highest. 
ಹಾಯಬದಿ ಮಸಿನ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ಲೋಟ್ಲೋಟ್ಲೋಟ್ಲೋಟ್ಲೋಟ್ಲೋಟ್ಲೋಟ್ಲೋಟ್ಲೋಟ್ಲ
under his lordship mahaki mahangna mapu oina panbagi makha da leire haraga langam laga leiri bani singa dugi maram da haibani sion haibasidi living in his power mahaki pangal da hing bahaibani in other words Zion would also mean it's an embodiment of the meaning of the kingdom of god Zion is an expression of uh, the kingdom of God, in other words. It's the embodiment of the meaning of the kingdom of God. Yes. So Zion really means about power. He speaks about ascendancy. It speaks about over and above and up and through. Now we heard in our previous meditation that by virtue of being born again or by, by, by virtue of our new birth we are brought into the kingdom of God except a man be born from above he cannot see the kingdom of God we know the scripture and we have experienced the scripture in our lives. The word of God in Luke 17 21 also says, The kingdom of God is within you. Yes. So we see we are born from above. And we are in the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is within us. Now, these two things are very true of us. So we come into that position by birth. By our new birth, we come into that position. Yes. So we come into that realm, into that position. That kingdom of God is now in you and in me. But we need to also know the kingdom of God is not just something merely in name. Yes. I'm born again. I know Now I'm in the kingdom of God. It is not merely a realm that we speak about. Yes. It is a form of life. It's a, a nature. Remember the kingdom of God. As we said, unless you are born again, you cannot see. The kingdom of God is within you. You are born from above. Wonderful. But remember that it's not just a term. It is a form of life, it's a kind of life that we are coming to. Amen. It's a kind of new nature. It's a new life. It's a nature. It is a, a, a kind of rain. Yes. Which is above every other authority. Yes. That rain is now here in my life. That power which is above every other 
other power. That authority which is over all other authority. That kingdom is now working in my life. Amen. Amen. Now this is very important. So when we say that I am in the kingdom of God. I am part of the kingdom of God. It is not something that merely we say and state. Before men. But how much do we really look into and see it's a life within me? Hallelujah. You know, it's, it's, it's a life. Ah. Don't miss that, brother. This kingdom is a life. That's what many are missing. It's become a kind of term. Zion has become a title. But Zion is not a title. But Zion is not a title. It's something to be achieved in a way. We will be brought into you know that's what Zion speaks about the kingdom of God is not just a term but it's a life it's a life within us you know when we turn to the book of Daniel there is a precious word there uh, the book of Daniel chapter 7 Daniel chapter 7. Daniel ki panduk tarayat. And verse 27. Pada kun tarayat. Very precious scripture. Yam na mamal luva sastra. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all the minions shall serve and obey Him. Yes. Mapu oiba amasun katia pumba gi makada leiba ning tau leiba matik mangal ado wang thora ba ado gi asya bami singda pibi gani maha ki ning tau leiba ti lomba nai daba ning tau leiba ni pali ba puna mag maha kuthau bal tau gani amasun maha ki wa ini and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high. Yes. Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom? Amen. And all dominions shall serve and obey Him. So we need to understand this is the kingdom. The kingdom that will have dominion over all other things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we didn't understand it. You know, so it says here very clearly, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve him. And this is given to whom? To the saints. This kingdom has come to you and to me. You know, but the reality is, we do not understand that this kingdom is a life. You know, this kingdom is a nature. Is a kind of rain. You know, God has to open our eyes. It's a spiritual thing. 
Masidi thawai ki wajah. Hiramni. Ahan ba makta da. You know, we have still not really comprehended what the kingdom of God is. Isor ki ning thawle ba kari no hai bese ta seng na ikoi hujuk pawa. You know, we we see the people of God talking about the kingdom so much. Isor ki missing na isor ki ning thawle ba ki maram da yam na wari watai ta wai koi na. The people talk about the kingdom of God in such, you know, earthly ways. Ishori mi hoy singa si na ishori ning thole ba si wo yam na pithi bi ki hoy ba mo mata udo wari hana ba. You know, in a very, in a very loose way, loosely they talk about. Yam na ikom kom na makoy nga. You know, it's a very common term used among believers. Tatta na thajari ba mi singi marak ta season na ba wahi wata londa puda oire. The extension of the kingdom, or the extending of the kingdom. You know that merely talks about the kingdom being, you know, broadened or, you know, you know, widened to move on to a widened area. Ado boi shogi ning thole ba ase yam na pakthok chau thok han bagi oi ba samdok bagi oi ba pakthok chau thok bagi oi ba. Yeah, something that it has to enlarge further. You know, we, we use that word, but many a time we do not understand the kingdom of God is something everlasting. You know, everlasting kingdom, and it talks about all dominion shall serve Him and obey Him. You know, so we see that these terms are very commonly used. You know, we use it very commonly. But we do not understand what that kingdom is. You know, the kingdom of God is a deep and a mighty thing. The kingdom of God is a deep thing. It's a, it's a mighty thing. It is deep and it's mighty. You know, as we read the book of Hebrews, in chapter 12, Hebrews 12, we read that a phrase a term which is used. Um, verse 28. Wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved or shaken. You know the Bible Verse 27, together we can read. And this word yet more, yet once more, signify the removing of those things which are shaken, as of things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken or moved. Amukhanna haiba ase sizinabada laktakli badi nikpayava सेम खराब पोट पुना मक निकटों कनी हाय बनी मसी निक पा याद बा पोट सिंग का दो ले हो गनी मरा मादो न कनाना सु लेंगन बंग अम्लोई दबा निंग था उले बा आई कोई न पंजर बनी किंगडम विच कैन नॉट बी शेकन निंग था उलेंग निक पा निकटों पंग नरोई दो बनी था उले बा यू नो मेनी टाइम एंड वी टॉक अबाउट किंगडम इट डेसेंट कम Amen. But how do you look at this kingdom in our own lives? Every time it shakes. Every time it shakes. Every time it shakes. You know, we see that. So we need to understand this kingdom speaks about a rule, a form of life, a reign, a nature. Every time it shakes. Paliba, amadi, mong, mato, lamshat, naiba, amadi, ningtau, panbagi, oibadun. Now, we are not going to talk about the kingdom of God, but I just, you know, shared what the Zion speaks about. 
ไฮบดีมางนปาลกะเลยบะเลงาตอบดุบไฮบดีมาคาตะปอรกะนี่ไฮบะนี่ดัตอิสไซน์มาดุนี่ซิออนไซน์สปีกส์อบาวต์ซ
you know, of great spiritual power. Hawaii atoi ba pangal ki khuda moina rana ba naha apu kaubi khara bane. Victory over all the powers. Pangal kuding ma ki mathak ta mai paak na rana. Over all the dominions. Pali pa kuding ma ki mathak ta laina rana ba naha apu kaubi bane. Hallelujah. Oh brother, I believe what you are saying. Oh brother, I nanang nahari kuding ma ki puti thaza yai ba po. I ma pa madu yau ba ngamgani thaza dre hai ba kumbha. Save you. Adu kumbha wakalo anadu dagi ishoor na na koi bu kanbi bu oisha no. There are giants there. The walls are big. There are too many in number. Masing yam 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 hai ki bani spai tara adu na. And they all perished. Adu hari ba Israel gimi adu ki amra ba ma all were destroyed. Mang mang ki bani kuding masing adu manghan tahan ki bani. May God help us. Shor na kabu teng mang bi boi shono. Having given such a promise, chauro ba wasak pi wasay pi. Many are going to come short of entering into it. Hangjara basu. But the scriptures say emphatically say some must enter therein. Amen. And the, and the thing is that the challenge is that will I be part of that sum? Will I be part of that sum who will enter in? Yes. Yes. Will we be part of it? Now that is very very important to all of us. So hold on to that, and we want to move on further a little more today. You know, uh, another thought that came to me as I was meditating upon this. You know, we see that Zion speaks about great power and authority. You know that realm that we are ascending and we come in and achieve that through a life. Now turn with me to the book of Zechariah. Zechariah ki lyricta amuk hang tok me nasi. The book of Zechariah. Zechariah ki lyricta. And chapter three, Pandup Ahum. You know, in Sekaraya chapter three, Sekaraya ki Ahum sita. You know, we see something. Hari ko makara ko na ubo pangi. In chapter three, Pandup Ahum, verse one, Pada Ama, and he showed me. Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yes. The high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at the right hand to resist him. Jehovah ki dutta adu ki maang da puru hitle and Joshua na lep liwa adu da maha ki ye thang ba da maha ko dhinga na ba saitana lep liwa. So we can see here. Adu maha ki na aingon da uhan ki. And listen very carefully. The high priest standing before the angel. Yes. And Satan standing. The angel of the Lord is standing at the right hand. Why that angel was standing there, but Satan is also standing, Why that angel was standing there, but Satan is also standing, taking a very close place. Why that angel was standing there, but Satan is also standing, taking a very close place. Why that angel was standing there, but Satan is also standing. Yes. Joshua the Yamna Naksin le. Side by side with Joshua the high priest. Hai bhi Joshua ki hai prohit le. Oye bhi Joshua ki naak naak te le. You know, Satan is in the place of power to resist Joshua. Dia bola se Joshua bo thingje na ana bogi da mag pangal da mag le. Satan standing at the right hand to resist him. 
ियन <laughs> पावर एनिमी महा Amen. You know there is something here. Listen carefully. Mafa masita kari gumakar lehi mo na tabiyo. Satan has an upper hand and power over our lives when we are putting on uncleanness in our lives. Dia bol na ikoy githatta ma ki kuda se lega thori bosi dia ikoy na seeng da bolu chet pa maram da maram na ni seeng da bo orag leiba ki maram na ni. You know he is in the place of power to resist us in every way. Mahan na hiram kudi magta ay koy but thingjan na bagi pangal da leibase. We become powerless. Ay koy si pangal leibase ay koy shon bo eragle. Ay koy shon bo eragle. We are not able to overcome the enemy. Ay koy na yek na babu lan ngambang ngamdre. All because of. Something of the of the world, sin and self. Kuding maksinga se taibu oiva. Through which uncleanness has come into our lives. Seeing the papu na maksing, hai budi masi singa si ki ma pan hai ko ki pun si da chanchi lagpo doni. Seeing the papu chum da papu hai ko ki pun si da orak pudo taibangi oiva. Now then, what do, do we read here? Hai ko na si da mo ka i pai. Verse four, Pada Maria said, and he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, "Take away the filthy garments from him. Behold, I cause the iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with change of raiment." Hallelujah. Maru the ki mahagna khum. खुमदुनाथ अमोट पर फिरोल सिंह तो मंगवाने के लगते हुए हैं ना जवाब ना है आदु दुगा अंगों बा फिरोल सिंह तो शेष फाइव एंड आई सेड लेट देम सेड ए फेयर माइटर अपॉन हिस हेड आदु दुगा आई ना है कि 
Yes. So he refined not only remove but put on. Awake, awake, O daughter of Zion. Put on thy whole uh, 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 garments. Put on your holy garments. But remember, you need to shake off those things which are of the dust. Amen. Amen. So the Lord said here, take away that garments which are filthy. Change those garments. You know, not only are the filthy garments taken away, but a new white robe is put on Joshua. And a fair mitre upon his head. Now, look at verse 2. The Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuked thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that has chosen Jerusalem rebuked thee. Is not this brand plucked out of the fire? जेहोबनाबोलोड you know, he says, Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? You know, the Lord says his determination to bring a change in the life of his people. In the life of Israel as a nation, which is Pictured here in Joshua the high priest. The Lord rebuked thee. And he says that is not this brand plucked out of the fire. You know we see that if that word has to come into, into fulfillment. Joshua cannot continue in that old defiled dress. You know, if that word is to be a reality and fulfilled, the Lord rebuked thee, but if Joshua continue in the filthy garments, Satan is going to stand around and resist him. But we see the Lord immediately saying, Change your garments. Amen. Amen. Change your garments. You cannot continue the way you are, Joshua. You cannot go the way you are. You are a branch that is plucked out of the fire. You are a branch that has been plucked out of the fire. I have a purpose over your lives. You are my people. You are my elect. Therefore, change the garment. Amen. You cannot continue. You cannot continue in your defilement. You know, so we see that Satan was rebuked. But, the condition of God's people were also changed. The condition of God's people also got changed. In other words, Satan will only have power over us when 
ไอ้คนน่ะเสียงดับจุมดับสิดมาขาตานะเลยทรบกันดานี่ไซทันสปาวเวอร์อิสเอสเตบลิชออนลี่เวอร์เวอร์เดอร์อิสอันโฮลี
Israel ki itihas ye ma matam da One thing is very very clear Kari ko mama yam na me You want to know how Israel is Israel ka ki bagi khangbi ning lagade purohi lan singa sida ye Israel kaise ho usko pata karne ke liye देख ले इजराइल का माइंड तो ये है बस ये लुक एट द प्रीस्ट यू विल नो हाउ द पीपल ऑफ इजराइल आर प्रोहेल लेन सिंह से ये मो मतम दा इसो की मी सिंह से कर माइंड तो है बस उ फंगनी हाउ इज द प्रीस्ट कैसे है वो प्रोहेल करम तो की नो गॉड विल बी और आर प्रोहेल लेन सिंह ना करी वरी बनो है बस नाउ इन द डेज ऑफ मी सिंह वर्क एज वी लुक एट फर्स्ट सैमुअल हां बस सैमुअल दे ये मो मतम दा वी सी इन चैप्टर 2 पंदु पनी ये सीधा दा एंड वर्स 12 Now the sons of Eli were sons of Belial. They knew not the Lord. Eli ki machani passing ashe matikcha da bami singni makoi na Jehova bu khanglam de. Now this was the condition of the priests. Masine purohitlen ki phiba madho. They did not know the Lord. Makoi na Prabhu Jehova bu khangki de. And yet they were ministering in the temple of, in, the, in the tabernacle of God. Adu bo isorge piyomadu daida makoi na hazik phao bo isorge thau galto thau 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 thau. Now the sons of Eli uh, were the uh, sons of Belial. Ah, sita hai shastra na Eli ki machani passing ase kana dabami ni abidi matikcha dabami ni makoi. They knew not the Lord. Jehovah bo khanglam de. Yes, they were sons of Belial. मकोई सिंह से बेलियल की मचा सिंह ने है बदी काना दबा मतिक चा दबा मी सिंह ने लुचे थे ओके स्टोरली डिफरेंट ट्रांसलेशन ओके दे वर सन्स ऑफ बेलियल मकोई सिंह से काना दबा मचा सिंह ने मतिक चा दबा मचा सिंह ने मकोई ना जवाब बु खंगलम दे यस दे डिड नॉट नो द लॉर्ड मकोई ना प्रभु बु खंगते दे दे वर मिनिस्टरिंग इन द टैबर्नेकल ऑफ गॉड अतो बुखंग सुखंग द ना पियुम दा हाइब दिसो कि निन्ना संग दा प्रभु जेहोवा बु थकल तो फॉर द टाइम आई एम नॉट रीडिंग ऑल दैट द सन्स ऑफ इलाइ वर इनटू अदम यू नो बट वन थिंग आई सी देयर द प्रीस्ट वाज करेक्ट हाइब दिस दे दे कोनो ओ बसे प्रोहिलेन सिंग से एंड देयर वाज ग्रॉस अनक्लीननेस एंड अनहोलीनेस बोथ इन द लाइव्स ऑफ गॉड्स पीपल एंड दे मेड द टैबर्नेकल ऑफ गॉड एन अनहोली प्लेस खुदी ईश्वर की वायन पिचार तो ईश्वर मसा मा किमी सिंगी द लॉर्ड प्रोफेसाइड अबाउट इट आदि प्रभु की प्रोफेट न हुआ ताक तो एंड व्हाट गॉड विल डू ऑन टू द हाउस ऑफ इलाइ इलाइ की मु मनुंग दा ईश्वर न कर जेहोव न करी तरकनी हैव टू मान हुआ ताक तो गॉड सेंट अ मैन ऑफ गॉड ईश्वर न जेहोव न मा की मनाई थाय इलाइ व्हाट विल हैपन करी थोक लगत है कि हैव टू इलाइ द गांग भी की बनी यस बट You know, and then we see. I'm not reading those verses for want of time. Matam lai tapa maram na paripara. And in chapter four, we read those judgments coming to pass. Hari ba wayen pichar singa do oi tholaki ba do. Yes. That Israel was utterly defeated. Hai bdi Israel se am sathi na mai thi ki bani. They took the ark of the covenant from the tabernacle. मकोय न वाले पगी उपु आदो निंगना संग दगी लोथोलो सिंग दैट द इफ द लॉर्ड्स प्रेजेंस विल गो विद अस हिज पावर विल बी देयर विद अस एंड वी विल डिफीट द एनिमी द फिलिस्टीन्स मकोय न खलम मी असुम न हायरम मी प्रभु की वाने पगी उपु असे आई कोय न पूरा बदी महा की लोई जीवन आई कोय वाज देयर लॉजिक सत मी नगनी आदो दुगई फिलिस्टीन्स दैट वाज देयर रिलीजन माथी बपी गनी मदो You know, it doesn't matter what kind of unclean, dirty life, sinful life we live, but we will take the ark of God and these priests who have given themselves to God, but living in uncleanness and sin, they also will come with us. Then God will give us the victory. 
ma kala mea koi na kaya amuk sheng dabo chum dabo punsi de hing labasu adu ka puroi le amsinga se na kari kari sheng dabo chum dabo punsi de hing labasu isor ki wale po upu ase ai koi na pura badi ai koi mai pakani hai na ma koi wakal le khanjar ami madu ni ma koi wakal ona do they have heard in the past when the ark went before them all the miracles that happened in the life of their fathers you know all those wonderful things that they have heard yes. mighty walls falling how the enemies were you know were, uh, were defeated so they said the ark will come with us and that's going to be our victory but no, the ark was captured God said, I will not stay with my people who do not have any holiness towards me. And the Lord who said, build me a tabernacle, that I may dwell, he left the tabernacle himself. He went to the heathen. He went to those who are enemies. That is what the scripture says. I have no time to share all that with us. That is totally a different story and a different, a different aspect of the truth. But one thing I would like to bring to our notice today is the priesthood was correct and there was gross uncleanness among the priests. And it was so with Israel as well. And Israel, they were defeated utterly by the enemy. And they were captured. Many men lost their lives. It is deplorable a picture of the children of Israel. Israel you know that brought down their excellency to such a lowest level. To the level of terrible defeat. To the level of helplessness. Helplessness. Helpless condition. Yes. And to the realm of misery. You know, what was the reason? These people who are supposed to be mighty. The ones who are supposed to be victorious. Now they are defeated. Amen. Now they are defeated. Even though they took a shortcut to bring the Lord. By their own logic. They found a shortcut to bring the Lord. Things began worse. God judged the house of Eli. Yes. He judged. Destroyed. So one thing we see here. The priesthood was the key to the situation. It was so with Joshua. And it was so with Eli. You know, what is priesthood? What is the meaning of that? Yes. Priesthood stands or it's, it, it has to do with the removal of sin. Yes. Yes. That is what they stand for. That is the meaning of priesthood. Now, take, uh, please, uh, let me take you to the book of Ezekiel. Let me show you Ezekiel chapter 22. Ezekiel 22. Ezekiel chapter 22. Verse 
Verse 26. Yes. Pada kuntaruk. Look at this clear word. Her priests have violated my law and they have profaned mine holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they shewed difference between the unclean and the clean. And I have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths and I am profaned among them. Amen. Yes, yes. Mahaki Purhitle and Sing na Aigi Wail Yatam to Gare Amasum Aigi Asengba Port Sing Mang Tokle Makoina Asengba Amasum Amang Bagi Ketnaba Lehande Aduga Makoina Seng Daba Amasum Aseng Bagi Ketnaba Ute Aduga Aigi Pothaba Mitsing the Makoigi Mamit So here we find Madam Aduna Aina Makoigi Maramda Amang Amangba Ore. They were to show mine holy things. Yes. But they have profaned my holy things. They are supposed to show the difference between holy and profane. Neither have they shown the difference between the clean and unclean. And have hid their eyes from my sabbaths. You know, so here is a responsibility. The responsibility of the priest. Look at when we look at the book of Malachi. The priest were to check and inspect every Offering that is brought into the house of God. You know, they were supposed to examine. They are to feel through every animal that is brought in. Yeah. They are to feel, run their fingers through. Of course, there was no CT scans and all that, of course. But the high priest had a responsibility. He is to check whether the animal, that, the lamb that is brought, has got four legs. He is to check every leg. He has to check the eyes. Are they both good eyes? He has to check the ears. He has to check every part of the animal that is brought to the Lord as a sacrifice. But what was the attitude? Come, come, let's worship the Lord. You bring the lame. You bring the blind. Who's duty was that? The priest. They fail in their duty. And so the people began to bring that. So as the priest, so are the people. Ah, correct. Yes, yes, yes. Please. Many times people are upset with us. Why this man is very strict? Why this man is standing there? Is he really shaking hands or he is inspecting us? Listen. Please. Who is to show clean and unclean? Municipality. Municipality no Tell me. Have yeah. you?
Please, brothers and sisters. I know there are many are upset with this fellowship. Maybe many are praying that this man be gone. But God's purpose will continue, isn't it? <laughs> we are not here to perpetuate something in the name of man. We are here to perpetuate something that belongs to God. That got to be our commitment. This is not unto any man. This is not unto some institution which has the name Good Samaritan Fellowship. No. If that's what we understood, we are utterly wrong. Then we are on a wrong road. We are in a wrong place. We are not hearing right in our lives. We understand this. I share this with a great burden. May God help us. The priests were responsible. And when they were responsible, then the people also went into uncleanness themselves. Oh, my God, help us. It's my prayer for all of us, brothers and sisters. So we see very clearly here that the priests were to show that which is profane and that which is clean. Yeah. You know, and that is the secret of life. Yes. That is the secret of the life of the priest. The priest, in the priest stands for the life of God's people. Yes. Amen. What a great responsibility. But the priests fail. That's what we see both, both in the book of Zechariah uh, and also in the book of uh, First Samuel. And it's right through the scriptures we see. Samuel, Zechariah. But there is no life. And there is corruption. There is uncleanness. When there is corruption, when there is no life, when there is unholiness, remember, there is no power with God. There is no power with God. Where there is unholiness, Satan will stand to resist us. We need to understand. So Zion is not just a title. It speaks about achievement. It speaks about moving. It speaks about overcoming. It speaks of about through the situations into a place of victory. Yeah. Yes. I, I know the time is up. But just before I close again, you know, when we turn to the New Testament, so long we have been in the Old Testament. You know, when we turn to the New Testament and to the book of Revelation, I like New Testament and Revelation and close today. Though there is much more we will see God willing next week. You know, uh, the book of Revelation, you know, when we turn to the book of Revelation, we have turned to that scripture several times now, we see the Lord speaking to the, the seven churches. The Lord speaking to the seven churches in Asia. You know, and what we see is the same problem. You know, and I'm not turning to any specific scripture. But when you take chapter 2 and 3, you know, this is what we continue to read. Or words to this effect. 
प्रभु डिफीटेड महानीमें मधुन अर्थ तौरीबीमेंट फिबमेंग I'm a child of God. Isam sam na so mawahi hire ka ngam lakpa do oibe abnate ay di so ni machani hire ka ngam lakpa ekte abnate. You cannot overcome those things by merely saying God has called me. Isho na ibu kau bikre hai ibu dun ekte isam sam. The church in Ephesus cannot overcome that and come over those situations by merely saying the apostle Paul began this church. फिबमेंटिशियल मेकानिक प्रभु 
You come down from the heavenlies. Naak sarga ki vaiba mafam singa tu dagi kum thara. You lost your first love. Naak ki ahan manung si budanang na manghan kare. Therefore, mara maduna. Don't worry. I love you with great love. Koi na nang bucha o manung si rehai na hai ki budanti. You know, Paul, my apostle, began this great work amongst you. Na koi ki narakta hai ki chaura baat hoi ba pa. And you always had night meetings. Matam puna muta na koi ahing the meeting to ki bani. You know, and day and night you are willing to attend his gatherings. Ayuk nung thil. पांगल हापो Put on thy beautiful garments. Pajarava pirol singa do hapo. God is providing the garments. Shona pirol singa do kina biri. You must put on. Naan hapo. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to close you today. I need you to know things. Things have to be dealt with. Ado na hari bahiram singa si da ay koi thabak tau batai. Things have to change on ground. Aavdi laima ida hari bahiram singa se hong dokcha batai. and I overcoming pugning hong laga koi mai pa pa a laying down of everything before god ishor ki maung da kuding mok singa se pisin jabatai pisin jabatai an act or a work from our side of repentance or pashtat adun ai ki nak pugning hong ki nakal da ki koi na tau jabatai masi singa se darkar hoi may god help us ishor na koi beteng mang ki boishan ai se loishan jarani the word is overcome hari ba wahai dudhi ngam lagu wahai ba wahai sign is not a title meaning sing bio sio na se sign is not a title sio na se ming tholam na te it is not a banner masi di adu umba title ming tol na te masi di mai pakcha ga da ba amani ta se na masi na ngang le masi da lai ngam lag pa adu gi maram da ngang come up come over tu na lag pa mai ok na tu na lag pa adu ga mathak ta lag pa du puni achievement and attainment मसीदी तो सेंग ना माय पाक चरा का फंगजा का दबाव मनी। So may God help us. मरा बदुने छोड़ने वाले बोलते हैं। Many things God has spoken to us today. इशोर ना एक वो देंगे सी कि मतलब मुझे तो हिरम के याद हैं गंग गंग बीरे। To God's faithfulness. था जब भैया आवो वो इन्हें लेसी इशोर की था जब वधा एक वो ही पुंसी था इशोर की था जब वधा था जब भैया वो इन्हें लेसी। Take time. मरा बदुने इच Hallelujah Lord Jesus. Thank you Father. Hallelujah Lord Jesus. Thank you Father. Thank you Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. Shall we really look to the Lord in prayer? Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Hallelujah Lord Jesus. Zion speaks about ascendancy. 
is a realm of power, dominion. Thank you, Jesus. That's the calling of the church. And we have seen very clearly how God's people lost it. But God is restoring Zion. Hallelujah. The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. There's a change of garments. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, may God help us. Let's, let's know our election and calling, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. When we give ourselves to uncleanness, known sins, things of the self and the flesh, then we become impotent, powerless, weak. And Satan would resist us. We have no strength to resist it. And he would not flee, but he will stand by us. But God is calling Zion to a place where he says, shake off that dust. He's providing garments, but we must remove the garment and put on those garments. Hallelujah. The priests are to show the holy and the unholy, clean and the unclean. And how much today we see in Christian realm, Christendom, all around us, no one wants to take the responsibility. Everything is in great mixture. Oh, may God save us. But God is restoring Zion. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we all pray and submit our lives to the Lord and say, Lord, help me to spend more time with your word and help me, Lord, to see my life in the light of this word further and change me, O oh God. Deliver me, bring me to victories in my life, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That Zion may be a reality of ascendancy, of moving on to power from strength to strength, from faith to faith, from glory to glory, until we appear in Zion. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we all pray together? Oh, Makariya Shakatlara Makasya. Lord Jesus. Oh, God, oh, God. Thank you, Father, for your word, O God. To my own life, Lord Jesus. Help me, O God, Lord. To be open to thy spirit and thy word, O God, Jesus. Much to be done, Lord Jesus. Much, O God. Much, O God. Much to overcome. Come over, O God, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Zion is a present day reality, Lord Jesus. Lord, an ascension now and here, O God, Jesus. Thank you, my God. Thank you, my God. Your church will arise and your church will come there, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Help me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let not unbelief keep you in bondage. Let not unbelief keep you in the very prison house where you are. But allow my word to come in. And let those shackles be broken. Don't reason within thine mind, say the Lord thy God. But let in the light into those dark places. 
Let my light to come in. Resist not. Even as my word has come to you in my love. And it will scatter that darkness. It will scatter that fear within you. It will set you free. You will be set free. For my word has come to thee. Given. Given. And your prison house will be open. Those shekels will be broken. And you will walk day by day in that victory. Say the Lord thy God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. the army of God preparing for war overcoming victorious only army of Satan nothing can stand nothing for the army of God Nothing can stand Nothing can stand Before the army of God There's a people emerging
before the word of the Lord. Nothing, nothing can stand. Hallelujah. A people emerging. Hallelujah. May God help us to be part of that people emerging. Thank you, Jesus. It's not something mechanical. It's not something, you know, positional. But it's something that we need to come into. Hallelujah. A people emerging. A people coming into. Oh, may God help us. A people emerging. A people coming into. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Request Brother Samuel to come forward. Great. Close. time that you have given us to hear thy word and not only to reflect on it but to receive it oh God let faith be instilled in our hearts that every word which you have spoken is something that we need to receive into our hearts and believe with all our hearts that what you have spoken, you will bring it to pass. Now in our lives, it is possible, Lord, for thy word to cleanse us and purify us and bring us into the things that you have spoken, to bring us into Zion, to bring us into that ascendancy, to bring us into your kingdom. Oh God, help us to be a people who will cleanse ourselves, Oh, we see, we have heard, Lord, the priesthood, both in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, the messenger. Oh, God, we see how they were found wanting, wanting in many ways. And we look at our lives and we see ourselves wanting in so many ways, in so many areas of our lives. Oh, God, cleanse us and purify us. Let thy word go through our lives and bring us into a place of purity, holiness, a place of ascendancy, O God, in thee. Oh, we thank you, Father. We thank you for all that you have spoken and ministered. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. It is your nature which is your kingdom. Oh God, help us to receive it into our hearts and lives. Many, many things that you have spoken. Oh God, we thank you that you gave us the opportunity to respond. And Father, we have responded to you. And we trust and believe that the change is taking place right now as your word enters into our being. Yes, Father, we thank thee. We thank you, Father. Oh, let it bring life to our bones life to every area of our lives, that we may be cleansed and purified. And Lord, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, we will be your people and you would be our God. You will dwell amongst us. Oh, what a privilege. What a privilege that you have given to your church. Help us, Lord, in these days. Help us. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you once again from the bottom of our hearts. But all that you have spoken, all that you have ministered and you brought forth in the power, the anointing of your Holy Spirit. And let thy word, Lord, work in our hearts and lives. Let it bring forth, O oh God, that ascendancy in us that we may climb up right now. It is not for tomorrow, it's not for the day after, but it is for now that we are to arise. Yes, Lord. We want to arise and shake off the dust and put off our garment, garments and put on that which you will give us, Lord. Oh, even that linen garment, that garment that does not ca cause sweat, that garment to God which, Lord, is acceptable to you. We thank you, Father. We praise thee. 
we bless thee we worship thee and we give you thanks in jesus most precious name amen